Hey guys, quick disclaimer, nothing too important. I kind of forgot I had a color key applied to my display capture, which basically means some of the greens might not show up because I used a green background in my latest video and I kind of forgot to remove the effect. So yeah. What is up guys, it's your boy Ganso and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am going to show you how to make vocals, samples or whatever like Suicide Boys. So first of all, you gotta get the samples or you can use the Creep Kit Volume 2 sample pack which you can find on Google by just searching for it. It's literally the first link on Google. It's a Reddit post and you'll find the link right there. So let's choose two samples. This is the vocal that I'm going to use. And this is the sample that I chose for the melody. <laughs> So first of all, we gotta get them in sync with the BPM. I am going to use 120 BPM as the usual. So how do we sync them first? So double click the sample that you wanna sync, right click on the time stretching knob and go to time and select four bars. And that's pretty much it with the first sample. It's stretched to the BPM and it's pretty much perfect. We might have to cut it a bit and make sure it's good enough. As for the vocal sample, we can do pretty much the same thing and it will be done. But you know, it's too slow, so we're going to set it to two bars, not four. But how do you know it's synced? Well, usually the samples have a snare and you know, normally the snare should hit right in the middle of a bar. This is one bar, this is the second bar and so on. So the snare should hit right here and guess what? It hits right there, and for the second sample, it hits there. I mean, you know, we gotta chop it, but it hits there. So it's time to mix them so we can actually have the samples usable. I'm going to link them to the mixer, the first one on the sixth track and the second one on the seventh track. So let's start with the melody. We want to remove the low ends. Just add the parametric EQ2, and get the first knob and turn it down, then a bit to the right. Now we're going to lower the fifth knob, which is on mid. Play a bit with the other knobs and you should be fine. You know, let's cut it so we make sure it's synchronized. I'm gonna press backspace so I can stretch and cut better than normal. Drag this to the left, maybe even more just to make sure. And I'm going to add a reverb to it. So let's move over to the first sample. We're gonna do pretty much the same thing. We're going to remove the low ends. We're gonna raise a bit the fourth knob, then lower the fifth knob a bit. And to make the sample sound a bit crisp, I'm going to raise the seventh knob a bit and maybe lower the 6th knob and let's see if they fit or not as you can see when the second snare hits from the first sample you know you can actually hear the difference because of the timings so we're just going to cut it Backspace, drag it to the left, and backspace again. And if you don't want to do the same thing with the other sample, just delete it. Then hold Ctrl, drag your mouse to the left to select these, Ctrl C to copy them, and Ctrl V to paste them. Drag them to the left to make sure they are aligned with the bar, and then drag them to the right, and that's it. 
We can also add a reverb to the first sample. Also to make it a bit more... Ah! Also to make it a bit more... Fuck it. Also to make it a bit more dynamic you can add a love filter. And add a automation. You know, to make it sound a bit more different than just the same thing. To make the automation, just right click on the cut knob inside the love filter and create automation clip. And we are going to right click at the end of the sample and add a point. Then we are going to the first point, which is already added, and lower it or raise it. You can see the percentage right here. So let's set it to maybe 30% or 29 whatever and use the middle point between the actual points and drag it a bit down to 0% but you know it seems a bit weird so maybe set it to 50% but however I am going to copy and paste the vocals again and move the second point a bit further away and now I am going to lower the first knob. Yeah, and I am also going to lower the second knob maybe set it to 60% or 55 something like that because it's a bit loud I mean we can always reduce the volume but you know and we are also going to go to the master track in the mixer right click on the volume and create automation clip and we're gonna add a point to where the second point is of the sample make sure it's on 80% or 79 doesn't matter and drag this down also make sure to right click on the point that's in between the first and the second point to make sure that the fade of the volume is straight and it's not curved or whatever. I mean you can always curve it a bit by raising it and we're also going to lower the volume of the vocals. So from now I'm just going to loop the melody. The vocals are coming in only when the breaks are. So you won't hear the vocals when the rapper's rapping or whatever. Okay, so now after I've added the drums, let's see how it sounds. Okay, obviously the drums still need mixing, but this tutorial isn't about that. Originally I thought about separating the... Fuck you. Originally I thought about separating the vocals from the instrumental from the sample, but that would sound worse than what I did. I mean you can still try it, but I'm not going to do it because I know it would sound worse. But yeah, that's about it. This is kinda how Scream uses samples in the beats. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more. And yeah, my name is Ganso and I'm out.